Hi, this is Mary Hansen, and this presentation is on using the Explore option in SPSS in order to obtain a comprehensive set of descriptive statistics. Once you've opened up SPSS and entered your data into one or more columns, you'll go to the Analyze menu and click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Explore. Again, all of the variables in your data set will be on the left side of the screen, and we're going to move the variable that we want to be analyzed over to the right side. Notice in the display, I am going to ask for both statistics and plots. From this window of Explore, I can get a very comprehensive set of descriptive statistics. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Statistics tab, and by default, I'm going to get the descriptive statistics, I can also get, if I click here, the values of the percentiles. I'm going to go ahead and choose that so you can see what that output looks like and click on continue. Then under plots, by default I'm going to get a box plot, a stem and leaf plot, and I'm also going to ask for a histogram. Once I've asked, highlighted all three of those plots, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And then in the Options tab, this just asks if I, um, how I want to deal with missing values. In this case, I don't have any missing data, so I'm going to go ahead and hit on Cancel, and now OK. And once I hit on OK, a new output window will appear that has the output that was generated using the Explore option. I can scroll down the output window using the uh, bar on the right. You can see I get a nice comprehensive set of descriptive statistics. I get the mean, a 95% confidence interval for the mean, which is an inferential technique that we will address later on in class. We get a 5% trimmed mean, which is the mean with the upper and lower 5% of the data cut off to deal with outliers. It gives you an estimate of the center, ignoring those upper tails of outliers. The median, the variance, standard deviation, minimum, maximum range, the interquartile range, and also measures of skewness and kurtosis. These are all, this entire set of descriptive statistics is given as the default. Uh, when we look at percentiles, you can see that select percentiles are provided. Uh, the first row gives you the percentiles as computed by SPSS. The second row uh, will give you two keys hinges, which essentially are the percentiles or the quartiles that uh, were presented in our presentation for this course for computing Q1 and Q3. You can see we obtain a histogram for this data, which provides again the mean, standard deviation, and sample size. Scrolling down a little more, I get a stem and leaf plot of the data which essentially uh, here has a zero for every single data point. If you kind of turn your page to the side, low numbers of 7 on the left, high numbers of 10 on the right, you can get an idea of the shape of the data. Uh, note that SPSS sometimes doesn't plot individual scores. It said that there is one extreme value, uh, and it didn't list that in this list here. And then we move down to the final plot that is provided, and that is a box and whisker plot. Box and whisker plots are the one statistical plot that will identify outliers in the data set using mathematical criteria. This particular plot shows the value of uh, 5 given by the first score. This is the ID in the data set is an outlier. We see that because the point is plotted individually. And then um, the rest of the box plot includes the maximum, the, the maximum value of 10 at the top. The box of the box plot essentially goes around the interquartile range. So Q1 is at the lower end, the median is marked with a line in the middle, and Q3 is at the upper end. And then uh, the value of 7 is the smallest data point that is not classified as an outlier using the mathematical criteria built into SPSS. So again, we see from this option, this was from the Analyze menu, Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore option. I chose the variable, asked for certain statistics and plots. 
going to hit cancel so I don't get that again. But I did generate this uh, big group of output here, a full set of descriptive statistics in a table, values for percentiles, and then three different graphical displays of the data. This presentation is by Dr. Mary Hansen.